Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Revelation. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world. We're doing all the cool modded things. Uh, last episode, we did some very cool stuff. We uh, uh, we worked on some uh, some storage drawer applications. We built a ME bus system, and I, why is my magnet turned off? Um, we built an ME bus system so that we could interface with our storage drawers, right? And uh, we realized rather quickly that we were going to need a uh, that we're going to need a tree farm. Um, I mean, we've got this manual one that we've been using basically all season, but uh, this is not going to cut it. We're going to need more, right? Uh, oh, also the other thing, uh, we had the builder quarry in the uh, in the in the mining dimension, and that is actually working a lot better now. We're actually up to about a hundred and eight, I guess it is. Uh, Fluix, uh, not Fluix crystals, but um, Certus Quartz crystals. Um, and that was just from putting that fortune upgrade on it. And some of you probably noticed, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you probably noticed that I, I kind of made a mistake with that. And that was that I wanted to make it the, uh, uh, the, the builder card that was going to actually kind of dig out everything in the world. I didn't put that upgrade on it. Uh, so I did that off camera, right? Um, I went in, basically to make the the excavator card, you take the, the quarry card and you surround it by glass. Um, I forgot to do that when we made it, so it was actually just placing dirt everywhere. And uh, and so off camera, I just went in and, and put the put the glass around that and turned it into the, the clearing card instead of the shaped card. So anyway, uh, so I'm gonna cut down some of these trees. We're going to, uh, we're gonna put a tree farm out here because uh, an automated tree farm because we're we're really running low on you know what this is not going to work I need my for these two trees here I'm going to need my other uh, I'm going to need my other um, my other axe my broad axe the one that turns everything into charcoal which I could probably use the charcoal anyway so we, I'm not going to worry too much about about that but anyway um, let's get started on this I want to get this thing going today so that we have a uh, so that we have a good bit of, of wood going forward because the next thing that's on our agenda after this um, is going to require that we have um, a, a good bit of wood so anyway coming in here uh, I think we're going to go ahead and use the industrial foregoing um, what is it uh, sower and reaper I think it is so at industrial or going at industrial foregoing. No, that's industrial craft. Uh, whoops, industrial foregoing. There we go. So we need to have, we got an environmental sorter, enchantment extractor. Where is it? Animal feeder, plant sower. Okay, so the plant sower and the plant gatherer. That's what they are. So a plant sower. What do we need for that? We need a couple of machine frames. We're going to need some plastic. We're going to need some gears. All of that should be... Um, fairly easy to auto craft. We're going to need a flower pot, so we're going to need to make some. Uh, we're going to need to cook up some bricks, uh, and then the plant. Where's the plant gatherer? Nope. Where's it at? Plant sower, plant gatherer. So plastic gear, uh, all of that stuff is available to us, and we're going to need some iron tools. So iron hoe, iron axe, two iron axes. So let's get some machine frames make made up. We're going to need two of those, and I have those on auto craft, so we should be able to make those pretty easy. Uh, two, please. Uh, miss <laughs> missing wood. Of course you are. Uh, so you go in there. You also go in there. There we go. So now we should be able to make those. Um, where did it go? Machine frame. There it is. So two. Thank you. Go. Uh, we're going to need to have an iron pick. So get some sticks. Where are my sticks? Do I have any sticks? Sticks. I have two sticks. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Because we can just do this, right? And that'll get us one, two, three, four sticks. That'll work out just fine. So now take some sticks. And we're going to need a couple of iron axes. So where's my iron at? Iron, iron, iron. There it is. One, two, three. Boom. So you go there. You go there. And then we also needed an iron hoe. So you go there. Cool. Um, we need some We need some gears, I think, is one of the other things. that. It, oh, and we also need plastic. And the plastic is probably still up here. I haven't moved everything into my storage system yet. So uh, plastic? Yeah, we got lots of plastic. Take a... Uh, Take all of it, I guess. One of these days, I'll get all of this stuff put into the system. Um, one of these days. All right, so plant sower, right? Oh, it's not S-A-O, it's S-O-W-E-R, there it is. So plant sower, uh, we're gonna need some pistons. So piston, 
We need two of those, please. Two, go, thank you. No cobblestone. Why do I have no cobblestone? That's all right, we have cobblestone over here. Why do I have no cobblestone? Must have used it all. That's probably a good reason not to have any, right? Uh, okay, so one thing I wanted to mention today, we have a new patron on the uh, Patreon account. So welcome Silver Sorensen as a new patron to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, and, uh, and, and if you're interested in becoming a patron on Patreon, then there'll be some information at the end of the video to tell you how to, uh, to, tell, you, to tell you how to go about doing that. Wow, I cannot type this morning. Um, okay, so we need two pistons. Uh, so piston. Two, please. Thank you. Cool. All right. And then also for the sewer, what else do we need? We need a clay pot. So we need some clay. C-L-A-Y. Two, three. Go ahead and cook this up. Whoops, over, over here. I dropped it. Dropped it on the floor. So clay, wow, that's 32 clay. I didn't want 32 clay. That's probably enough clay. Yeah, that's probably just enough clay, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's more than I needed. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so back here, back to the sewer, we're going to make a clay pot. Okay, so that takes care of that. And so now we should be able to make the plant sower, right? No, we need gears. We need iron gears. So gear. I just happen to have, nope, oh, those are invar. Don't want invar gears. Gear. Invar gear, iron gear. I didn't make a recipe for tin gears? What? Or for iron gears? What? Well, that's fine. One, two of you. There we go. So now we can make the plant sower. I have to get an, I'll have to get a recipe for that. Thought I made those. Okay, you, done. Plant sower. Next thing we need is the gatherer. Gatherer. So that should have all of that. We need gold gears. I'm pretty sure I had a recipe for those, didn't I? Gear, gold, yeah. Two, thank you. Start. Okay, so now gatherer. Good. Sweet. Okay, so now where are we going to put this? We're going to put this right over here um, in the place where our tree farm was originally. But I want to, I want to kind of put it in in a way that it's kind of um, uh, what's the how do I want to say this? I probably want to up. Ooh, do I want to upgrade it or do I want to just go with the name, the standard three by three? But if we do a plant sower, right? Show me your working area. Okay, so it goes up two blocks, and then it's a three by three. Yeah. So would a three by three actually be good for us? Would a three by? I mean, it's a single player world. So do we really need to have uh, a giant tree farm? I'm gonna say probably no. Um, and then for this thing here, what's your range? I believe it's also three by three, right? So show me your range. Okay. Yeah. So it's three by three right in front of it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, figure out exactly where I want this thing to set, and I'll come right back to you. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Um, and I want to do this with a couple of things out here farming-wise. Um, but, uh, but here's what we got. So over here in this one, we've got our plant sower. Down there, we've got our plant gatherer here. Down here, we've got some saplings that I had. Uh, actually, I've got more. Cool. Um, so we got saplings down here from chopping down all the trees. Over here, I decided to go ahead and make one for the slime farm, too. Because, I mean, why not? Because we're going to need slime balls anyway, so we can set up some mass storage down there for slime and for for wood, and we should be in really, really, really good, uh, really good shape. So that being the case, let's take a look now at what we need to do to power this thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the energy relays. At some point, we're going to upgrade these things. I don't know if we can upgrade them today. Let's take a look at that. If not, uh, we'll we'll upgrade them soon. Because here's the thing. It, it may need some empowered stuff, which it probably does. Uh, like take a look at relays. So this is the one that we're using right now. Uh, I have a recipe in here to make these, right? But um, it, you, you, to get, the, like this one here, 
This one here will hold will will transfer a hundred thousand RF per tick, which is pretty good. Um, this one here only transfers like a thousand, and this one's like ten thousand or something like that. So this one here is really good. But in order to make this one, you have to make this one, and in order to make this one, you have to make this one, and in order to make the uh, advanced one, you need is that the advanced one? No, that's the extreme. I want the advanced. So in order to make the advanced one, you have to have empowered Inori crystals, and in order to make the extreme one, you have to have empowered diamond crystals and I can't mass produce those yet um, which we're going to do we're going to automate that right there the empower but um, yeah we're just we're not ready for that yet I mean I'm not personally ready for that yet so let's go ahead and make just a couple of these oh you don't know how to make gold nuggets we need to fix that you need to know how to make gold nuggets so you gold that's glow how about gold there we go so to make gold nuggets is just, really? You're gonna give me a, oh, okay, be that way. So to make a gold nugget, you need one of those, and voila, gold nuggets, cool. Put you in here, uh, right there will be fine. And now we can tell you to make relays, right? Next, cool. Uh, I don't need very many of them, because it'll be fine. Okay, so there's those. Didn't I have some? I had some of those already. Cool. Do I have my wrench? I do. Good. So what we're going to do to power this thing is we're just going to... What did I do there? Actually, additions book. Where'd that come from? No, really, where did that come from? Because I already have one, right? I already have an actually additions book. Where did that come from? It's right back here, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Why, why, why do I have two? Why did it give me another one? I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go out here and, and power this thing up. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need a relay. Probably gonna need an energy relay, like right here. So let's go ahead and put one there. Uh, I've got power back here, right? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and link this together. So link you to you. Sure, why not? Cover this back up. And let's link you go out here and put one of these on top of this one here. So link you to you. Now, can I link that one might that one might make it to here. So link you. I should have just went in through the wall. That's okay. So link you to you and see if that is not see if that's too far. Yeah, it's too far away. Darn it. Um. Um. Yeah. I mean, I can link the two of them outside together, which would be fine. I wonder if the extreme ones have a, a longer range. I think they might. These apparently only go 16 blocks. Um, what if I did, what if I did this? So you come up here like so, uh, you get broke, you go like that. Can I link you to you? I can, okay. That might not be a bad thing then. That might work. Uh, give me you, you, you. And link you to you. Break this one. And then we'll link that one to the one outside. That way they both get power without having to go through each other, if that makes any sense. So you get broke and then you get replaced, and then you can get linked here, right here, and then you can also get linked to the one outside. And that'll power these things, I think, should. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> There we go, and get linked, yes, okay, cool. So now, these things should be getting power, yes? Yes, cool. Uh, we need to get power to these though now too, and what I, what I was thinking for that is, let's go ahead and dig down a little bit. 
Um, about like so, maybe? Yeah, kind of like that. So we're going to need to get seeds. Or, okay, so... Yeah, so this thing's going to harvest, right? And we want to be able to funnel the saplings back down into here. So we're going to need to set that up, which we can do. Uh, so let's go ahead and do you like this. Put you there and then zoink and zoink. Hey, you getting power now? It is getting power and it's planting trees. That's cool. Okay, so that's planting trees. Those are growing. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Uh, while I'm at it, you get powered. And then we'll go like this. Do the same thing here. And that gets powered. And so that should be planting those. Cool. Yeah. So now we've got a working tree farm as far as as far as getting them planted. We're going to need to now get get it set up so that when this thing harvests, of course, it's going to get uh, the purple slime or the green slime, excuse me, because these are green slimes, green slime saplings. So it'll get the green slime. It'll also get saplings and it might get something else. It might get a purple slime drop every once in a while, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's a thing for these. So... We'll need to get it set up so that the saplings come out of the bottom of this and go back into the plant sower. And the same thing over here. And then this one here is gonna, is gonna have wood and saplings. So the wood and the slime, we want those to get transmitted back to our ME system. To do that, we're probably gonna want some ender chests, I'm guessing. So let's take a look at that real quick. Like, I think I've got a recipe in here for ender chests. Uh, ender chests. Ender chests. Do I have ender chests in here? Printed silicon. Aha, ender chests. So we're gonna need two of those. And those are gonna just be the white, white, white. Those are the channel, that's the channel that I'm using for item transfer from the builder's quarry in the uh, mining dimension. I don't have, oh, I don't have the stuff because, wait a minute, what? Oh yeah, okay, they're there, they're good. So we need those. We're gonna need some item ducts. So duct. We need item ducts, yes, please. I only have 12 of those, but that should be fine. Um, we're gonna need some servos, so servos. Uh, reinforced will be fine, yes, please. Um, and that should do it. I'm worried a little bit about the sludge that this thing is probably gonna make, because it is gonna make sludge, right? Need food. Um, it is gonna make sludge, and so I am worried about that a little bit, but I don't, think it matters. I, I think in I think we're at a point where it doesn't really cause an issue for there to be sludge in the system. Um, but we're going to find out. So you are going to be like that. And we can also set this up so that this gets a very specific item that it wants to drop out. So can I take one of you? Yes, I can. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't do that. Lock the inventory, I guess. Um, so I want you to only get, I want you to whitelist saplings, right? And I think that'll work. Oh, well, no, because, yeah, shoot. We're going to need filters on this. The servo is, the servo is not the real important thing here. The filter is... The filter needs to be over here to only allow saplings to go back into this. And then... And then down here, we're going to need to put a, uh, uh, did I, I didn't turn that thing on anyway, right? Down here is where we need to put our ender chest. So if we come right here like so, the ender chest will take the items. So we're going to need some filters. Let's go make some filters. Let's go make a couple of filters. Um, that shouldn't be too bad. So filter. I have a couple of filters already. Take those. Because I took apart the uh, the mob farm, so I'm going to have to redo the controls on that. But this will actually work out pretty good. So if I filter this to only accept... No, no, don't don't filter that. Give me, give me that back. So do this, yeah. Filter this to only take in... 
you only take in purple saplings. White list, purple saplings. And then this right here will have no filter on it whatsoever, right? And we should, that should work now. So slime and stuff will come out of here. Saplings will be, or the saplings will go there and that should take care of that. So now you go away and let me out. Um, I've got way too much stuff in my inventory again. You know me in inventory management, holy cow. We'll do the same thing over here then. So give me item ducts. You and you, right? So you will get a filter to accept saplings. I like to put them in the center. Not that it matters. Uh, whitelist. And you can go in there like so. And then you need a servo. Where's my other servo? Where's my other servo? There it is. So you can pull items out. And then we'll put the ender chest right here. Right? You can pull out anything you want, which is cool. Go. I think that's going to do it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and AFK for here, here for a little bit. Let these things grow. Actually, you know what? I don't have to AFK. Let's just go get some bone meal. We'll watch this thing real time. Where's my cobblestone? There it is. Actually, let's use dirt because we're going to fill this thing back in anyway, right? There we go. Let's go get some bone meal and we'll give this thing a try. See if it's going to work. I don't think you can bone meal slime trees. I don't think you can. But I know, I know you can bone meal oak trees. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Ooh. I need to get some storage set up downstairs. Do I not have any bone meal? I don't have any bone meal. Where's all my bone meal? Oh, I know where it is. Bone meal's in here. I put it in here. It is right there. Let's try this. So bone meal, yes. And then you should get chopped down. Getting chopped down right now, isn't it? It is. Saplings are going into this. Okay, so I might need to, yeah, let's just do this. Let's go like, let's go like so. And we'll filter this as a blacklist for saplings. That might do the trick better. Let's grow another one. Saplings, you go that way? Yes, cool. Oak wood should go into the chest, right? Yes, perfect. And then that will get transferred into our ME system. Oh, along with apples. I forgot about apples. Yeah. Forgot about apples. Okay. All right, cool. Let me do a little bit of work on this and I'll come back to you in a minute and I'll show you the finished product. Okay. So the farm seems to be working out pretty well, um, but we've got some things that we need to make room for because we're going to have a lot of them, right? So one of the things that we're going to need to make sure that we have room for is going to be oak wood. We're already up to 138 oak wood, so we're going to need to make sure that we've got a place for that, right? So let's go ahead and take all of this out of our ME system. And uh, let's make ourselves a storage drawer. So actually, <laughs> it took all the wood out, so I need to put some back in. <laughs> Whoops. So uh, one, two, three, four, right? Cool. Yeah. Storage drawer. Make, please. Yeah. Okay. So give me a storage drawer. 
and we will go and put wood in that and it should whoops we can't go there we got to go this way Boom. so if we put this over here into our bulk storage room which is what this is going to be pay no attention to that because we've got it that's that's for bringing mob drops back over this way eventually so uh let's go ahead and put you there uh yes boom okay so that gives us all of that wood now if we come over here we should be able to see oh uh, we should be able to see oak wood in the system right we're also going to need to make room for green slime congealed green slime and purple slime right uh so yeah because i think so oak wood do i have oak wood in here now oak yes cool we have oak wood Cool. All right, so let's make another two of these. Two of those, please, and thank you. We're going to need some void upgrades, probably. There's those. And we're going to need congealed green slime. Yes, please. And purple slime. Where's the purple slime? There's the purple slime. Purple slime, there's not that much of, but it is, it is useful for, us, for certain things. So I might as well make a space for it. Uh, it's going to keep coming in anyway. We can always just use a we can always just use a, a small drawer for it. Um, so you know it is what it is. So you can go like that, and then you can hold those. Right? Where's my key? So I can lock them. I don't know where my key went. Oh boy, where did my key go? Is my key in here? Nope. Is my key in here? Yes, haha. -ha. Okay. So we'll turn that back on or put lock those so that they only hold those items. So you, you, you get locked. Did all the rest of these locked? I put in a bunch of void upgrades yesterday, but I do think I need to put a void upgrade on this one. I think I need to put a void upgrade on all. I, well, I need to put a void upgrade on all of these eventually, but I don't know that I can make any right now. I might be out of, might be out of obsidian. So, uh, void upgrade, can I make you? And yeah, I'm out of obsidian. So I need to get some more obsidian for that, but that's all right, I can do that anytime. But uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you what we got going on. We gotta turn the system back on, as a matter of fact, because I've got it turned off. Um, so is this, uh, has, so it's been harvesting, cool. What I've got down here is I've got a setup like this. So the, uh, the, the sower can only take in the saplings, right? That's the only thing that'll go into its inventory. Uh, and then I've got the trash can set up here to only accept purple saplings. That way, if we start getting an overflow of purple saplings, it'll just start throwing them away. I've got the ender chest here, which is set up to accept purple and uh, green slime. And then here I've got the servo set up to only uh, to to only it'll be set up to uh, always ignore redstone, but it sets it up to send items to the farthest inventory first. That way the saplings are sure to go here first. If there's no room here, then they backspace and they go to the trash can and then the purple and, and green slime will go into the uh, into the ender chest. So we should be able to turn this one on now and we should be able to see. Items come down, saplings are gonna go over, it goes there, and it can get in, so there's room for it. If there was no room in there, then it would bounce right back and it would go to the trash can. And you saw the purple and green slime, they went down here. And the other thing over here is gonna work the same way. I've got it set up so that only uh, oak saplings are allowed to come to the sower, any excess go to the trash can, and then and then wood and apples. Did I throw the apples away? No, I, I'm keeping apples. So that's the other thing that we're going to have to make room for is apples because we're going to get a bunch of them, right? So, so if we turn this thing on, actually, what's in here right now? Just wood and, and saplings. So if we go ahead and turn this on, we should be able to see the saplings will come down and they'll go into the sower first. There was room for them. There was no room for that one, so it went to the trash can, right? because this is full. So that's pretty cool. Folks, thanks so much for watching, but sadly, we are out of time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by the Discord server where we uh, talk about all things Minecraft and, and other things. Um, also, thank you again so much to Silver Sorensen, my newest patron on my Patreon account. Um, 
And if you're interested in that, like I said, pay attention to the end uh, to the end stuff here at the end of the video, and it will tell you what the link for that is, and uh, and you'll be able to read up on what some of the benefits are for um, for being a patron on Patreon. So anyway, folks, thanks again for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye bye. A very special thanks to my Patreon support staff. If you'd like to become a Patreon patron, visit my page at www.patreon.com slash rb underscore plays to find out more details.